Hey guys, Black Ops Viking here today, doing another Battlefield 5 discussion video, and uh, this discussion video is going to be on the Battlefield 5 CTE, or the Community Test Environment. Now, if you don't know what the Community Test Environment is, it's um basically another version of Battlefield 4, um, and it's when DICE want to test something out, when they want to put something new into the game, they put it on the Battlefield community test environment first so the community tests the new update and then they can give their feedback if it works well and if or if it doesn't uh, and for the DLC map packs I believe they get the weapons first so they can say if the weapons need more balancing for example in Dragon's Teeth and uh, the other map packs I think they got the weapons and uh, the community gave their feedback and then DICE kind of tweaked the weapons to suit what the community wanted. But <clears throat> for Final Stand, for Battlefield 4 Final Stand, they did actually get the whole map pack first because I don't know why they got the whole actual DLC with the maps and the weapons first, but I'm not too sure why they give the whole thing, but they got the uh, whole map so they could actually um there was a lot of kind of new things in that one i suppose that could be why there was the rower sh uh, railgun if uh, some people complain it's overpowered i actually don't think it is because it is a battle battle pickup and you only get nine rounds i think it is there was the i forget its name but it's like the, the flying kind of minigun Anyways, it's like a MAV, just with a mini good on it, and of course they had to get the community's feedback on that, if they wanted it removed, or if they wanted it uh, nerfed a lot, or buffed a lot. And then there was the, uh, I think it was called a, the X or one adapter, or something like that, it was, hey guys, it's kind of like a tow missile today. launcher, but a, it shot shotgun shells, but in video. the, and, uh, the CTE, before be that map pack came out, it, that uh, was extremely yeah, overpowered, it could flip over tanks, now. it would totally deny you physics, the, if you shot it at a tank, it would actually is, flip the um, tank over, flip the LED over, but you can take out light armor vehicles, like a... Transport vehicles, dice, helicopters, and jets. Yes. So, um, put something new into the game. What I was thinking for in Battlefield 5, test but before first. actually I get onto so that, the, the CTE is the on PC, it is on the test, well, uh, or test or environment uh, for the uh, Xbox the One, I do DLC think. Packs, um, uh, I'm not too sure on that, but I think it is. It was announced around two years ago for PS4, but it's we still haven't got it, so we're obviously not going to be getting it now because there's no point getting the community test environment because they're not going to be updating it anymore, as I've made a video about in the past. But it was announced for PS4, but don't expect it to be coming out. But but anyways, for final stand for Battlefield, as in Battlefield 4, the vanilla version, you have different game modes. You have hardcore. You have conquest classics. You have infantry and large conquest. They got the conquest large and all these different types of game modes. So what I was thinking, instead of it being exclusive to PC users, but actually. If you As are a premium user on PS4, so if you have the premium the version battle, of a PS4, you, you can actually go onto your PC and, and download the Battlefield 4 CTE if you have a PC capable of I running Battlefield 4 on like the, the flying good PC. Kind of but, Anyways, it's like an MAV, just of course, really good on it, and of some course console players don't have a PC that, capable of running Battlefield 4 because Battlefield 4 is a very graphical uh, game that is off. very has very good graphics the, uh, and kind of, you know, needs a beefy PC to be I able to run it smoothly. So instead of just giving one console premium members was, CTE, like a maybe launcher, but a, it shot instead shells, but in putting the, actually the, the CTE CT on consoles in the first place. place. Now I know it, that, that there is a lot, a lot of legal kind of stuff that Sony and Microsoft have to totally sign, for example. Um, I think that is actually one of the reasons why PS4 isn't getting the CTE anymore because I think there were some legal issues and you know because there's so many updates and every game before you put an update on it out for a game I think it has to go through a certain process and I think uh, some companies just don't want to go through that whole thing you know for a console on a PC you know it's a lot easier 
test environment for but the Xbox that's why One. I think I PS4 did think, not get the CTE. So um, it would just be a lot sure that, easier think it is in Battlefield 5 if you could just... Around two years ago for PS4, I don't think it would be a good idea a to have two clients on now, your console. For example, like vanilla Battlefield 5 where it's just normal, and then a Battlefield 5 CTE because it would take up a lot of space. It would basically be two games, and it would be very... But anyways... You know, it would kind of take As up space on your Ford, home screen, and having two Battlefield 5 seemed kind of weird. You but core, you have if you could just go into classics, Battlefield 5 uh, and actually just kind of select the CTE large, version in the contest, game modes you want to play, I think that would be a really large, actually and good idea. And I think so instead, I thinking, instead of launching of Battlefield from the browser PC on PC, I think, but again, actually, it should be a desktop. A I, don't, I still don't understand why so you have to access it in a browser. Um, you can since the last time I checked, I mean, you can go into Origin, I think, and start it from there, but it would be a lot easier if you could just, like, save your game to your desktop. But, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I think it would be a very good idea for console, both Xbox One and PS4 users, to just be able to go into their game modes and choose CTE, and for them to be able to give their feedback to DICE, so instead um, of for the console users to giving give their feedback to DICE, and CTE, so they can get all the updates and give their feedback. So anyways guys, thank you so much for watching, make sure to hit that like button because it really in the first place. Now I know helps my channel that grow. A lot and I'll see you guys in the next stuff video. Sony and Microsoft. Some legal issues, and you know, I see the girls walk by dressed in their summer clothes. I have to turn my head and